Hi dear students, today we will be doing the NIOS Home Science Practical number 2 and it is about the identification of fabrics through visual inspection. The fabrics used are woven fabrics and knitted fabrics. So what is the meaning of knitting? Knitting basically means loops. So here what do we have is formation of loops using a single yarn. It comes like this. You can say like an N or an upside down U through which your second waving goes loops while in waving we use two sets of yarns or maybe more interlacing at a 90 degree angle that is you have lines like that or let us say each one each line represents a yarn you can use different colors because as I said, we can we have to use two or more and it goes inside for a good effect you can also use different type of colors that will represent different yarns So, waving means interlacing of different two or more sets of yarns at a 90 degree angle. This is 90 degree angles in here. While knitting are formation of loops using a single yarn. As per your practical booklet, they have asked you the criteria for selection. That is, what is the difference between knitting and woven or waving samples. In the book it is mentioned that knitting is edges are curled. The edges are curled up. While here the edges are flat and straight. Point number one. Second important thing they are asking. Uh, they are interconnected loops and are visible on the interface. These are not interconnected. These are interlaced. One over the other. Third one. Single yarn runs through the whole fabric while here we have two or more sets of yarn running throughout the fabric. After you have entered the three points for the criteria of selection, you can then have your samples Pay cut it into 5 cm into 5 cm each and then stick it for the women area and the knitted area and again write the difference between the two. Then you need to know the types of waving. We have got three types of waving. One, two and three. The first one is called plain wave. Commonly used everywhere. Plain. Second one is called twelve. And third one is called satin. Plain wave, twill wave and satin wave. What do you mean by plain wave? Plain wave is nothing but very simple. What I have drawn here. Where you have one yarn, one goes over the other. Second one from inside. Third one on top. Fourth one from inside. I will show you the example here. In a twill wave, we leave two lines. And the first one goes inside it. Inside not one like the star plane one. Inside two. And then comes over. On top of two. Inside top of two. Then goes back inside. That is, we write it as 1 upon 2. Why? The yarn goes over 2 sets from inside and then comes out over 2 sets from out. Satin, it is 1 upon 4. That is, we have 4 yarns. It goes internal 4 and then comes out of 4. And then again inside of 4 and out of 4. 
you can see the pictures that is going to be mentioned when we do the practical you can also be given during the exams thousands of different types of materials okay which are going to be a mixture of knitting and wave woven samples and then you have to choose one sample for woven and one sample for knitting identify them differentiate record your results in the given table or you have to prepare your own table now let's just come to the practical part and let me show you how do you identify it through your visual inspection so from the practical area you need some leftover cloth you can either get it from the tailor or it is if it is available at your house second thing that you will need is some old banyans t-shirts or socks or even sweaters will work fine now here you can see these are different types of colored cloths i have and you need to cut them out 5 into 5 cm that is length and breadth of 5 cm and then i'm using a white cloth here to show an example so i have cut it already in the 5 cm into 5 cm this is the piece of cloth and then 5 cm uh, this is like about 7 cm of woven fabric how do you know to identify between a knitted and a woven fabric look at it when you see into more deep i don't think so the camera will be that much clear but the yarns are used one over the other and i'll show you the large size on a piece of paper how we did it and that is how it is made this is waving while in knitted and it is flat and straight you can just see flat and straight even while touching it but when you talk about loops that is your knitted fabrics you can see a lots of space in the middle lots of space stretchable they are quite stretchable also lots of space and you can see the loops here how they are this is prepared through loops this is a very tiny knitting done through machine not through hand the hands one will have more space and the loops are more clearly visible but here no loops not stretchable in a woven fabric you can see so basically what happens is that let us take an example on this colored paper i have drawn 2 cm in each and we have this and i've given a cut in the middle the different types of waving here what we will do i'm using my three different types of colored paper that is also each 2 cm i will show you the difference of three waves that we had learned was plain twirl and satin what happens in a plain wave very simple you can see here we have used one two three three different colors as i said we can use two or more the one yarn goes to the other from inside one piece only comes out from the second goes in the next comes out from one so basically what you do is that you just give a break of one one that is out goes in one comes out in another one third one it goes in fourth one comes out fifth one goes in sixth one comes out so it is one by one this is called plain wave but what do you mean by 12 wave i told you leave two so this one is going to go inside two and then come out for two then again go in two and come out for two you can see the difference now between the first plain wave and a twirl wave here no color while here there should be the, it's not the why because it goes in two comes out in two goes in two comes out in two this is called as twirl waving what is a satin waving where we use four in the second sample it goes inside four that's one two three four and comes out for four then again goes for four and that is the end of the paper so this is basically one example for goes in four 
comes out for 4, goes in 4, comes out for 4. That is how it works for a satin wave. This is an example of plain wave where single has been used and more decorations has been done. This is paper waving. Paper waving is also common and we will be doing the fabric waving for our next practical or that is maybe practical number 9 or 10. Thank you for watching the video.